to the Alpen Hotel. What is it, Joseph? You, uh, you've forgotten your trousers, monsieur. <laughs> but these are trousers, Joseph. Tyrolean trousers. My hat, Joseph. Yes, monsieur. <sighs> and remember, Joseph, no one is to know that I am here. No one. Especially my wife. Yes, monsieur. Finding the day had begun 
happy to take what the world had to give, happy to laugh and to love and to live. Yo ho, the old lady, yo ho, yo ho, in Swiss that's good morning to you. Sing a song as they wing through the skies. Why don't we try in here? Well, that's a very good thought. Why, good morning, madam. Could we interest you in a nice, fresh mousetrap? What kind? Why, most any kind. We have the very latest inventions. Yes, ma'am, we have. I'll handle this. You will handle what? Why, good morning, sir. We're going to show you one of our latest mousetraps. We don't want any mousetraps. Oh, well, let's take a look at one anyway. We don't want to look at any. If I want to look at a mousetrap, I'll look at a mousetrap. I said no. I said yes. I said no. husband. That goes for you, too. Oh, Mama, that was nice of you. Now I think it over. If you want to look at the mouse trap, look at one. Oh, Papa, Mama changed her mind. We don't want to look at no mouse traps. Well, this is your idea. Coming all the way from America to Switzerland to sell mouse traps. Whatever gave you that idea? Well, I thought there'd be more mice here than anywhere. And just why should there be more mice here than any place else in the world? Well, don't they make more cheese here? No. <laughs> Do you realize that we've been here for two weeks and haven't sold a single mouse trap, and we are flat broke? we what? We are flat broke. Does that mean we haven't any money? You know what the trouble is, don't you? No, what? We're not going to the right places. What do you mean? Suppose you were a mouse and you wanted something to eat, where would you go? Well, I'd go where there was cheese, of course. That's the idea. Where there's cheese, there's mice. I still don't know what you mean. Why don't we go to the cheese factories to sell them? Let me give that a little thought. Yeah. 
you take the two small ones in and then come back and help me with the big one. Don't go away. We've got something to show you. Will you stay here? Now, wait a minute. odd intrusion. We really meant no harm. Uh, don't get yourself a flutter. There's no need for alarm. Uh, we're selling something that you need, so won't you listen, please? We'll rid your place of all the mice, and we'll also save your cheese. Won't we, Ollie? Mm. Save my cheese? Yes, sir. All right, gentlemen, proceed. Stanley, fix me a hole. Now, you put this trap in a conspicuous place. What you are making holes in my floor for? Well, the mouse has to have some place to get in. Oh, maybe so. Huh? What's that cork for? That's so the mouse can't get out. What you are making another hole in my floor for? Oh, that's because a mouse never comes out of the same hole twice. Oh, is that so? Amos, <laughs> come here. Excuse, please. Say, why don't we make a lot of holes? It'll save time. That's a good idea. I'll help you. Emil, what are those men doing to our floor? They are trying to sell me mouse traps. Now, don't you waste any good money on mouse traps. Who's wasting good money? Here's where I get rid of those no good Bovanian francs. Oh, yeah. I go get it for you. Yeah, hurry up. I think we'd better go, go downstairs and get some fire and put the water out. I mean, get some... The if... fire is out. For once in your life, you've acted with impunity. Now, I've an idea. What, what you've you an, an idea? idea? I'll buy the whole business for 5,000 cool. Why, you being so generous, we'll throw in our mule. You can't do that, Ollie. Don't be such a fool. That's my idea. It's a splendid idea. It's just an idea of my own. It's just an idea, a splendid idea. It's just an idea of my own. Won't you roll them bones? Ah. some dessert. Uh-huh. Uh, waiter. Yes, sir. Bring me a large slice of apple pie and a dimitas. Yes, sir. And you, sir. I'll have... Uh, what's that? Uh, what would you have, sir? 
I think I'll try some of that demi tasse. Yes, sir. And uh, bring me a cup of coffee, too. Yes, sir. I hope every tea is of your satisfaction. <laughs> I'm too full for work. I am glad. Chi assaggia il nostro cibo ritorna, as they say in Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. There is no apple pie. No apple pie? No, sir. Just what kind of a hotel is this? I'm sorry, maybe we have some other kind you would like? Mm, no, sir, I have my mouth all set for apple pie. Send the chief to me at once. Yes, sir. I will go to the bottom of this. Why no apple pie? See that you do. Yes, what sir. is the meaning? Why no apple pie? Uh, uh, yes, what is the meaning? Well, what do you say? Well, don't stand there like a jackass. Where isn't there apple pie? Why don't you tell him he's got his face all upset for it, haven't you? Well, say something. Let me tell you something. I've had better chefs than you discharged for not having apple pie. Absolutely. Discharge it easy. If he cannot tell why no apple pie, make apple pie, make a lot of apple pie. Yes, make a hundred apple pies. Yeah, and make me an apple dumpling. You numbskull. <laughs> yeah, and that goes for him too. Mm. I am sorry to cause you this inconvenience. I promise you, it never will happen again. Well, just skip. Bring me the bill. What is the bill? Take it out of that and bring me the change in American currency. Large denominations. No <laughs> That is a funny shot. You Americans give always to me a sense of humor. <laughs> now, that much business give me some real money that I can pay the bill. What do you mean, real money? Well, you've got 5,000 francs in that bill. They are no good in this country. Well, where are they good? In Bovania. Well, maybe we'd better go to Bovania. Uh, uh, where is Bovania? <laughs> there is no such a place. <laughs> well, what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do? You are going to pay the bill. Well, that's all the money we've got. Corre fuori le bombe, ma questa è una truffa pedricolata, ma come? Che non drink the coffee! A via giusto io per la festa, come here! You come with me, come on, come on, come with me! Come on! Put that down! What do you think, Franz Alehopper? After so much fuss about the apple pie, they cannot pay the bill, so I put them to work. You will tell them what to do. And if they break any dishes, whatever the dishes they break, work another day. Both of you, go ahead. So, you bragged about discharging better chefs than me, didn't you? <laughs> there are no better chefs than me. Are there? Are there? You remember what the boss said? For every dish you break, you work an extra day. Hold it. Catch it! <laughs> Come on! One day, two days. By the time you leave this place, the gray hairs of your beards will be trailing on this kitchen floor. Edward! Edward! Where in the name? Coming, sir, coming. Edward. Yes, sir. What's making that noise in my head? I'm sure I don't know, sir. Can't you hear it? Listen. <laughs> Bless your heart, sir. That's not in your head, sir. That's a, that's a cricket. The cricket? Yes, sir. 
The cricket song. Cricket song? That's not bad, sir. It's not bad at all. from me and why the disguise this is not a disguise this costume is to get me into the mood to write my greatest operetta <laughs> in those fancy pants these are not fancy pants these are tyrolean trousers but victor darling i don't understand you've always written your greatest music with me and the critics have all acclaimed you the critics have acclaimed me <laughs> that's good the critics have acclaimed me just listen to what the vienna journal says here read this never mind i'll read it Anna Herfel's singing is divine. Is my music mentioned? No. Anna Herfel's new operetta is a sensation. P.S. The composer is Victor Albert. Well, we're a success. We're a success. You're a success. I'm a P.S. But that's all over now. This is one time the critics will not be blinded to the merits of my music by your lovely voice. You're, you're going home and, and, and you're going to stay there. My home is with you. Please try to understand. With you beside me, I could never, never compose music about a simple, unsophisticated girl that a peasant could fall in love with. And a peasant would be too particular to fall in love with me? A peasant fall in love with you? <laughs> Imagine a peasant falling in love with a prima donna of the Albert Theater. Why, he'd be scared to death of you. Oh, is that so? I suppose you think I can't no, be... No, 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 darling, darling, please, please. Now, you go back to Vienna and leave me in this peaceful atmosphere where I can compose undisturbed, huh? All right. I'll go back to Vienna. You go ahead with your foolishness. 
But at the last moment, don't come crying to me to sing your, your masterpiece. Peaceful. Me, there you are. Thank you. <laughs> Why, the pleasure's all mine. And mine, too. At least the help around here is courteous. Well, we can't help uh, being helped. You see, we're a couple of American gentlemen, temporarily embarrassed. Yeah, we wash dishes. Gentlemen who wash dishes? Well, it's purely temporary. You see, it happened like this. <laughs> Pardon the whispering. And then when the check came, we didn't have any money. What'd you say? I told her that we had to stay here until we could get some money to get out. What for? Well, simply for the sake. None of your business. Do you mean to say that you have to stay in this hotel because you couldn't pay for your dinner? Absolutely. I'll take a double order of everything on the menu. Everything is going to be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is going to be fine. <laughs> Very good. Yes, sir. all back and keep marking till I'll tell you to stop. Come on now. they fill those barrels every time they become empty huh. what's on your mind huh? what's on your mind nothing that brandy is put there for a humane purpose and anyone that would stoop so low as to touch it without a just cause should be shot he certainly should. Do they save people in the summertime, too? No. Only when it snows. Huh. Hey, Fatty, come with me. I got some work for you inside. I wonder who that guy thinks I am. Calling me fatty. Why don't you tell him? Well, for two pins, I'd go in and punch that monkey right on the nose. I certainly would. I'll be right in. And enough.
I'm exhausted. Oh, help, help, help. Oh, oh, help. I'm exhausted. I... and get out of this hotel. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. And besides, this costume isn't silly. It is. It is. It is. Then why do you demand that the entire hotel staff be dressed this way? That has nothing to do with you. Oh, yes, it has. The manager insisted that I wear this. What are you talking about? Don't you think I make a pretty chambermaid? No, I don't. You don't look like any kind of a maid. That costume isn't fooling anybody. I am sorry, sir, but I haven't the time to argue. I must finish my duty. I'll not have you in here interfering with my work. Edward! Edward! Coming, sir, coming. I was just on the point of observing, sir, that I... 
Why, Miss Heffel, how charming. You look just like the girl for our new operetta. Oh, you idiot. Can't you see this is one of her tricks? But I'll put a stop to this foolishness. This hotel isn't big enough for the two of us. Order the manager to get rid of her at once. Oh, sir, I, I, what are you waiting for? Oh, oh what a tasty morsel for the Vienna newspapers. I can see the headlines. Famous composer, his wife thrown out of hotel. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. You leave me no alternative. I am at your mercy. No, this is all your fault. Get me a place where I can be alone and work in peace away from everybody. You too. Well, me too. Well, I, I, I... Well, well, well. Now, why don't you give up this crazy idea and stop acting like a, a musician? Oh, I'm crazy, am I? Just because I want to fulfill a simple ambition that does not include you, I'm crazy. Oh, Victor, you are getting one of your spells. Mm. You'll be foaming at the mouth soon and at biting people. Yes, and you're the first one that I'm going to bite. If you do, I'll bite you right back. Yes. Ah! Well, I just seen the manager and it's all arranged. <laughs> What's arranged? A nice quiet place, sir, where you can work and nobody can disturb you. Out there. Out where? Out there, sir. The treehouse, that's perfect. Have my piano set up there at once. It's being taken care of right now, sir. The men will be right up to move it. Stan! Stan! Oh, wait. What? I ought to be shot. <laughs> what is it you wish? Uh, we've come to move the piano. Oh, yes. I believe this is yours. Oh, thank you. You're quite welcome, your ladyship. A chambermaid. <laughs> I believe this is yours. You're welcome, your ladyship. Come over here and help me push it. Are you afraid of me? <laughs> Why, no, ma'am. No? No. Do you like me? <laughs> well, yes, ma'am. You do? Yes. And you, you too? No, 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 no. I mean you.
what that is. See if it's safe. Huh? See if it's strong enough to hold us. Well, if it's not, I'll let you know. <laughs> Say, listen, I'm not going to go across that bridge. You just went across it. Did I? Well, certainly. Come on, let's get this piano across here. Go. Take it easy. I'm going to see if the rest of these slats are safe. Oh. Everything's okay. From now on, it's going to be easy sailing. What? A monkey. 
Well, it doesn't surprise me a bit. If you don't quit drinking that brandy, you'll be seeing pink elephants. Now get on that piano. Everything ain't just all right. you? I love you. Ever since I've seen you in this hotel, my heart goes bumpity bump. Oh, you are so sweet. <laughs> now that you've arranged everything in your usual fine manner and the piano is ruined, how am I going to work? I have everything under control, sir, as usual. There'll be another piano here in a week. A week? In the meantime, sir, why not use the organ in the lobby? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. And I never thanked you for helping me getting into this hotel. Why, oh, it was a mere nothing combined with a, a terrific pleasure. <laughs> oh. Will you tell me something? Certainly. Well, if you didn't know me, uh, wouldn't you think that I was really a peasant girl? <laughs> I'll say I would. The prettiest peasant girl I have ever seen. Oh, <laughs> oh my sweet. <laughs> Oh, 
What's the matter? I don't know. I know. What? You're in love. In what? In love. L-U-G-H. Love. Am I? You certainly are. How can you tell? It's easy. Look at the silly, sloppy look on your face. Look at it. Is that what it is? Do you mind if I tell you something else? What? She's in love with you, too. How do you know? Any dumbbell can tell that. You know what you ought to do? If you play your cards right, you've got her right in the palm of your hand. Tell me some more, Stanley. There's nothing to tell. All you've got to do is go and let her know. But you don't understand. This is my first love affair. And I don't know how. Say, why don't you do like the gay caviars used to do in the olden days? The what? The caviars. Caviars? What did they do? Well, when they were in love, they used to go by the light of the moon and they used to serenade their lady fair. But suppose she's in love with someone else. Faint heart, ne'er one fair lady. You're right. What are you doing here? I brought you some dandelions. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and he's got something to tell you, too, haven't you? <laughs> if you love me like I love you, I'd love you better than Irish stew. Boop, boop, be doo. <laughs> oh, your poetry is so very touching. Thank you. Yeah, I wrote that, didn't I? <clears throat> I wonder if you'd give me... Yes. Uh, uh, a chance to take you to the Alpenfest tomorrow. The Alpenfest? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's going to be a big holiday, isn't it? Yeah. All the countryside gathers here for merrymaking. There'll be gypsy fortune-telling, uh, dancing, and song. I have an idea. Will you help me? Yes, why, I'd do anything in the world for you. Then meet me here tomorrow morning at sunrise, and I'll tell you my plan. We'll be here. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Stanley. Say, do you know what? What? We forgot to serenade her. Well, let's do it now. Now. Let me call you, sweetheart. I'm in love with you. Let 
me call you sweetheart, I'm in love with you. Keep the love light burning in your eyes so blue. Let me call you sweetheart. music at this hour for? Well, we're serenading. Serenading who? His sweetheart. You know Anna, the new chambermaid? For what? Well, he's in love with her. And you know what? She's in love with him too. Isn't she, Ollie? Uh-huh. Can't you see? Look, look at the silly, sloppy look on his face. Well, let me tell you something. I want you to know that Anna is in love with me. She's my girl. She told me so this afternoon. And I won't let nobody to come in between. If I ever catch you talking to her again, I'll skin you alive. Now get out. Go on. Go on. <laughs> I've seen the seven wonders of the world, and yet I can't get over the Alps. Though I'm amazed at each Dion Quintuple, I can't get over the Alps. A Swiss miss was sheing down a mountainside. One day she went heeing and became my bride. And now she sits at Sam Moritz and waits. Me. But I can't get over No, I can't get over No, I, I can't, can't get over the Anybody will recognize us. <laughs> well, even your own brother wouldn't know you. Well, I haven't got a brother. Well, the brother that you haven't got wouldn't even know you. Huh. Don't worry, boys. And if you are discovered, they can't do anything to you. Well, certainly not. Not much. Remember what the chef said? If he ever saw us again, he was going to skin us alive. <laughs> Don't worry. Remember when... Go ahead, please. Go ahead. <laughs> Gentlemen, with your kind permission, we will introduce 
the greatest prima donna that ever thrilled a cantata, Romany Rose! <laughs> One desire Could you Say no To me And if my breath Upon your lips Should fan The fire Could you down and bring that gypsy up to my room. Yes, sir. Your room, sir? Mm -hmm. oh, we've never gone in for that sort of thing, sir. Oh, no, sir. Tell her that I want to sign her to a contract. Well, if that's what you call it. Now, hurry, Edward, hurry. going to like this, sir. You fool, don't you recognize her? That is Anna. What? Huh. Oh, uh, come right in. It's safe. It says we can't go in there. Well, can you beat that? Well, he certainly got his... I thought I told you to not to come back here. Who? You! You know what? What? He thinks we're us. <laughs> Isn't that silly? <laughs> we're not us. We're two other fellas, aren't we? Why, well, certainly. I could pick you two out of a million. I bet you couldn't. But I could. I bet you couldn't. But I could. Close your eyes. All right. How skin will I? Lie.
hold you for a while. Come on, Stan. Bye. Whoa! Wait a minute! Why don't you try the handle? What's the meaning of this intrusion? Can't my wife and I have a little privacy? Your wife? How can she be your wife when she's in love with him? Isn't she? Now, let me tell you, gentlemen, she is my wife and always will be my wife. I thought you told me that I had her right in the palm of my hand. Well, you did have, but you didn't play your cards right. Remember, I told you, if you went and played... Um, <laughs> uh. What's happening? What's happening?